Well, good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or afternoon, whenever you see this. <laughs> I um, I have been not taking a break, per se, on this game. I just necessarily just haven't been playing it as much as I would like to. Although I have been excited to play it, I just haven't been playing as much as I would want. If you are new here, I hope you have a fantastic day day and if not i hope this make your day a little bit better and hope you can consider hitting the subscribe button and liking and all that good stuff and if you're not new here well you know the deal you, you already know the deal i think i already read this part i'm gonna reread it anyway because i have no idea what i'm getting into i definitely can't get my mind off of it i should try to play this game first the, uh hello okay <laughs> it wasn't moving now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press the enter. Okay. Cool. Did it? Okay, I was gonna say it didn't even go in. What the heck? Second day. Did we miss the first day? Ah. Oh, so I'm not giving any of these. I don't know who these girls are. It's t it's I guess important to the motive. So I'm going to assume that it has something to do with the girls that are in the school now. Now, I can only assume by, you know, the way they act, the way they respond to certain things and stuff. But other than that, I'm not going to be able to tell you who's who. Uh, it's already late. I'm going to be late for the four-hour meeting. Blah, excuse me. Everyone's waiting. I got to hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's going to hate me. Ugh. I know who this sounds like. <laughs> if she says something else that sounds like her, I'll... I'll mention it. Um, they're waiting in classroom A. 1A, excuse me. Not classroom A. Let me not get lost. Classroom 1A. I hope the numbers are up. Yep, 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 yes, they are. They are up there. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. Ah, oh, my eye. Sorry. I poked myself in the eye. <laughs> what were you doing? I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. <sighs> um, don't be mad. This sounds like Mekon. <laughs> oh boy. And which guy? I gotta see. The, I gotta remember the, the names and stuff. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B now. Who was Girl B? Is this Girl B? Um. We're here because you had something important to say, don't. Alright. Excuse me. What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God. You're such a slowpoke. Girl A, it's, it's, it's today's evening, today's evening newspaper, excuse me. This one, here you go. Just read it. So what happened? July 8th around 6 a.m. a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. Oh my god! It seems the killer broke the window to escape based on the details from the crime, authorities say. The investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit this act. Oh my goodness. So their classmate was murdered uh, yesterday by somebody that snuck into school. But who? I hope they tell me who. I was a little surprised. I never expected to make it to the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school. So they might be thinking that a pervert did it. Uh oh, that does not sound good. That sounds like they had something to do with it and they don't want to say nothing. Let me make sure my mic is on because I'm going to be angry if I went through all this work to switch something around and then the mic isn't on. But it is. It is. Yay. It says someone may have. S okay, we already read that. Sorry. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. That sick, twisted bastard. Excuse the language. This is the only game that I try not to censor out the language as much. Because I feel like it takes away from it a little bit. 
sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out of a window? Yeah, <laughs> we're all in danger too. But is it really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we had anything to do to hide anyways. Are they... The reason why I almost said to do with it, I think they did have something to do with it. That's why they kept it a secret. Oh, no. I don't want to speculate. I really don't because I don't want anybody to ruin it for me because I know how people will come and be like, yes, this person's this. But... Could somebody have possibly done it in this group? In this group is like the group of girls that's at the school right now. That I mean, that's in like Hope's Peak right now. Because if so, oh boy. It's not like we have anything to hide anyways. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. Uh, I think that... Uh, I'm gonna look it up. But I think that is a crime. But still... I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no... There, this is Hope's Peak. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't it right, Girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... Uh-oh. What's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Oh God. I hate how she, you click on somebody and then it jolts backwards, like towards people and stuff. Like every time she does it, I always think that she's about to take off running out of the room. To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Uh oh. Is this who we think it is? No, no, no. We're not going to. So I do feel like the girl, the person I'm playing right now is Nikon. I don't know why. It could be the hair. It could be anything. Ah, oh, God. I just hope it's not. <laughs> like, I hope none of them are really involved. To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. What are those photos now? Oh, God. I have them right here. What? I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid. Curses aren't even real. Ugh. Girl, E's starting to sound awfully like he go. <laughs> You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Uh, hey. And she tore them up. This is bad. If you ripped it like that, the curse. I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. So... They witnessed, they didn't witness, they found a body. And then they went and took pictures of it and just didn't report it. Or at least one girl took pictures of it. But the rest of them just didn't report it and didn't say anything. But why though? Like, did you not like the girl? Did you, is it something else more to the story that we're just missing? Like, it's, of course, it's, it's a, freaking Spike Chunsoft game so it's always more to the story. The problem is, is that I just feel like mm, that I know why this is the motive. Hey girl E what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Just oh and girl E is the re oh she's like forcing the issue too. Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body, okay? The end. Seriously, just let's go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Day four? It skipped a couple of days, didn't it? Oh, God. 
Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is... Archery club. Hmm. That makes me think of somebody else, but I, I'm not going to say who it is. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that the incident occurred, too. Oh, jeez. Why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. <gasps> huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. 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 Forgive me. Oh God, forgive me. <laughs> Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Wow, I'm. This has opened up something crazy. Ah, girl, a. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Her head split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault because the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. So what happened to... Uh oh, did I pass it? Yeah, I passed it. Where's 1B at? Okay. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh my goodness. Game over. Wait, what? Down five. What? Um, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, um, huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason? I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with second day all of a sudden, then jumped into the fourth day afterwards. Why were the first day and the third day skipped? And what's with the down five message on the game over screen? Down five. Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? So the only thing I can think of and the reason why it would possibly be the motive and hear me out here because I could be just crazy, but is it possible that this is the girls that's in our group right now and one of them did a bad bad thing and then tried to act like nothing happened but see then i don't still don't understand how that's the motive because they would have to have done something to someone is this what it's like to play crappy game for now it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. Yeah, it, I think one of the girls did something bad. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy. <sighs> I'm gonna sneeze. And disoriented. Oh God, don't sneeze, please. And as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Please don't be a monocle. <sighs> I knew it. Like the moment it got quiet, I was like, it's going to be a freaking Monokuma thingy and I'm going to be angry. Life isn't about moving forward. Sorry, I was moving something. When confronted by the important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is... <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna be angry because I don't want to read the stupid Monokuma theater thing. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, the important questions get right in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign at the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to... Oh. To poop, really? To poop? <laughs> I thought 
thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have a class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and what awaited me was... And another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on the door. I was definitely born in Japan, but I have <laughs> But haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to make the Japanese style of poop? As you can see, there are always important questions awaiting you. That's what life is all about. That was annoying and it took up a minute and like 15 seconds of my life that I can never get back. And I really just feel like Spike Chunsoft himself is just playing these games. And these are just like his actual thoughts. Like it has nothing to do with the game at all. I know people are like, oh, there's hidden messages. There's no hidden messages in that. I swear. I'm not going to listen to Monokuma anymore. Close Peak Academy. He's telling you good morning and tell us to be enthusiastic about dying. <laughs> morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. I mean, when in doubt, talk to everybody else might, might give me a clue. <laughs> I don't even know what else to do. Um. Uh, is anybody outside? <gasps> Ibuki and Nikon. Hi, Nikon. Hi, Nikon. <laughs> ah, good morning. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh? Waste? Ah, it's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. <laughs> so... I'll excuse myself. Waste? What? Is something going on? Ibuki! It's always something going on with Mikan. Eventually we'll learn her story. Hey, Ibuki. Hmm. Hmm. What are you groaning about? Why you? Ibuki isn't groaning for <laughs> some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I think, well... Uh, he has to poop all the time. You can't, you can't get on him for having to poop, Ibuki. I'm worried about the more sublime, a more sublime, more serious matter. And that matter is, Ibuki's music genre for now. Okay, music genre. <laughs> I escaped the pop sound of the girl band genre. So, I'm thinking about changing my musical style completely. Ah, I see. <laughs> but there's something that comes in mind. This is very troubling. Hi, Anime. If you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. But is that something you can really decide on a whim? Anyone else out here? I don't want to talk to Nagato right now, at least. Maybe I'll talk to him on free time, maybe? I don't know. Ma I've been avoiding him because Nagato is kind of a, a butt itch. And not just like a, oh, my butt cheek's itching. I mean like the deepest, darkest booty hole itch that in history. So I just, I, I avoid him. <sighs> Good morning, Hiyoko. Hey, hey. Doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing the same game over and over again? She's not going to reply to my greeting, is she? <laughs> of course she's not. <laughs> I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously. Everyone here is such a weirdo. Ah, except Maharu. Jeez. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm going to become a weirdo too. <sighs> I feel like you already are one. Thank you. You should have said that to her face. Don't be, th don't be thinking bad things about her. Say it to her face. Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Hachime. Ah, uh, 
it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yeah, I got thrown off myself. She usually just ignores us. Yep. Yeah, I just finished playing a game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was just wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagato? I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Hmm. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? Mm. I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Did she just ask me for permission to go see Nagato? I don't care. Go talk to him to your heart's content. I don't I don't care. I just don't want to personally talk to him. Let's see. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Ah, yes, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and set myself at the table near the window. Yo. Hey. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're going to eat? I swear this thing, I keep hitting it and it's killing me. I'm going to take it off. I'll take it off after this. I'm taking you off. You, you've you lost privileges to be here. <laughs> what? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're the one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies are... <laughs> these gummies are... These gummies have four different fl fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like, you should just eat real fruit. I mean, so when I was younger, I used to think the same thing that people used to be like, "Oh, so you should you you need to eat real fruit." And I thought as a kid that if the candy says it has fruit in it, ouch, then you can eat that. But I I guess not. Uh, whatever, sucks. When you grow up and you realize that the things that you eat can put a muffin top on you and you can't fit your jeans anymore, it's hard. This seems like a bad time to bring up that the game, the game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you Is Maharu this. missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant and sure enough, there was no sign of Miharu. She's always here in the morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... A small chance that she's what? Hmm? I saw Miharu. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta act like I got food in my... She was outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez, you're such a sp don't say such a spooky thing. I was gonna say you're just such a spooky. As punishment, how about you run around in circles three times, say whoop, and jump off a cliff? I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey! But what was Maharu doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she just turned it down. Wanted to eat alone? Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? Oh my god, and I bet you nobody's gonna be like, hey, don't talk to Maharu like that. There's no way Maharu would play that video game. <laughs> would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Uh, were you referring to me? <laughs> I am pig barf, aren't I? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo. Hey, Hachime. Got a second? What is it? Kazuchi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30 p.m. Come to the supermarket, but don't tell anyone about it, okay? <laughs> huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well. Nothing. I, I forgot. He doesn't like... Well, does he? I'm not for sure. Does he like Gundam? I don't think he likes Gundam because I think Miss... Uh, Sonia likes Gundam. 
It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> I love his laugh. You make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated <laughs> ignorance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. Oh, such power and passion. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the gods of darkness flee in terror. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. Okay. But although, I'm, I do love this picture <laughs> of Gundam and his little bitty little baby. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyways, Hajime, that's what's happening. So I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you've conserved your energy. Oh God, what do you got me doing? Huh? Conserve my energy? <laughs> I'll see you later. What was that about? He's got me doing something crazy, I bet. Instead of talking about the game, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast, I'm gonna sneeze, Ugh. came to an end. Hmm. Kazuji told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30 p.m. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. <gasps> Free time! Okay, I'm gonna go see... I know, I know. This is gonna sound crazy. But I'm gonna go see what's wrong with Maharu. Because I don't think I have talked to Maharu yet at all. I haven't talked to Maharu at all. So, we're gonna talk to Mikan. I think. Or Ibuki. Whichever one we didn't talk to in the last one, which I'm gonna go look at. Um, I'm gonna talk to them. And then we're gonna talk to Maharu. Oh god, but what if I only have. Like, there was one time in. Um, in the first one that I only got one free time so but if this is like a one free time thing or maybe not I don't know because it's, we're still discussing the game and then but then Kazuichi doesn't it's not like a a free time and then nighttime thing because he told me to come at 2 30 so I might just get one free time because of the 2 30 thing so I think I'm just gonna hang out with Maharu and then if I got an extra free time then I'll go hang out with somebody else but thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good time watching. I had a good time playing. So I will see you guys later. Love and peace. Peace and love. More.